Hello Game Day Coaching members, this is Rick Storley with New Home Sales Coach and we're here with our final installment of how to deal with and sell today's price focused new home and remodeling buyers. So we've talked about the top seven objections. When you get the realtor that says where are your prices and where are your plans, we're busy, we got other showings. Uh, when you get the prospect that says well the other builder is lower or you're too high, can you come down? when they say uh, we want to get two other bids before we move forward with you or you get the well, you're the first builder we've talked to so we can't do anything well now we're dealing with the last uh, the, the last objection and that is well the existing home is a better deal or building is just too expensive and uh, when you're a remodeler you may say, well, I don't deal with that. But obviously, a lot of people that uh, are considering remodeling are also considered moving. So I'm going to give you a chart to show of uh, new versus used and to talk about all the hidden fees associated, or I should say hidden costs, associated with a used home. And we'll get rid of that word existing and, and call it what it is. It's a used home. Now, for remodelers, I think your analogy is, is that, look, you know what you've got right now with your current home. You know what you've got with your current neighborhood. It's a safer bet to stay and remodel because it's like buying a used home is like buying a used car. You have no idea uh, what sort of uh, uh, hidden hidden costs you're going to find. Of course, you can get an inspection, but that's no guarantee that you're going to identify everything. So let's move forward and look at this script. We're going to take this script from a uh, new home perspective. So the objection is we'd love to move, we'd love to build, but existing homes are a better deal. The strategy is reviewing their history. We're going to talk about a previous major decision that was tough to make, but after they made it, it really changed their lifestyle for the better. And of course, this is a great strategy to use for market per, uh, objections, such as the, perce the perception is it's a lower cost, a lower cost to buy a uh, used home or an existing home and what we want to get at here is look at look you can you you can look at price and you can look at cost and we're gonna get them to focus on cost so the phrase we're going to incorporate is I'm glad you brought that up can I share a thought with you you might find valuable and this is how the script goes uh, Mr. Builder, you know, we'd love to build, but we just think, you know, existing homes are a better deal. You know, I'm really glad you brought that up. Can I share a thought with you you might find valuable? Well, sure. Well, as you review your options for your next home or remodeling project, you have two selection criteria, low price and low cost. You know, low price you get once. It's when you, at the time of purchase. But low cost you receive each day of ownership. Now, which is more important to you? Well, I'm not sure. Uh, we just don't want to pay too much, and you know, it seems like buildings a lot of, uh, you know, pretty expensive. Well, exactly. None of us want to pay too much. But let me ask you this question: What was the last item you purchased based on a low price, and shortly after you began using it, it broke or didn't perform as you expected? So the buyer tells the story, or if they can't think of anything, you share your own story. So here's an example of my story. I once purchased a $40 hose reel for my yard. I used it for a few weeks, it broke. Out on the garbage it went. I went back and I bought a $60 hose reel. Well, that lasted a year. So now I've got $100 into hose reels and I have nothing to show for it. Well, I finally went back a few years later and I bought this $80 hose reel. Now I spent $180 to get the very thing that I needed. Now, I made my first purchase decisions based on a low price, $40 and $60. However, it was a high cost of ownership. In other words, it took me $180 to get an $80 hose reel, which works just great. So you go back to me and say, you know, it's easy to fix a small low price purchase because you can throw it away and start over. However, buying a used home full of hidden high cost design and maintenance issues isn't something you can get out of easily, if at all. Wouldn't it make sense to explore how a brand new home could be the answer to a low cost home ownership by designing and building the right home from the start? You know, maybe we should explore all the options. Now, I'm going to look for this download of a new versus used home checklist. And you can review this with them. And it talks about all the hidden costs of, an, of a used, short sale, or foreclosed home. Happy selling.